Hello, once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is Eddie Marcus, spokesman and advocate of basic human rights for all people. And I am coming to you because I'd like for you to support my campaign to become the next United States Senator from the state of Minnesota, finishing out the term for Al Franken. The reason, and amongst the many reasons that I'd like for you to vote for me, ladies and gentlemen, is because the country needs me. And Minnesota needs to step up, send me on to Washington so the country can be blessed. What am I saying? I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen, that we need protection. We need protection from all of our enemies, whether they are foreign or whether they are domestic. Everybody knows that we are under attack from both fronts. We have our aggression from those on the outside for whatever their reasons might be. And we have those from the inside for whatever their reasons might be. But whatever the reasons are, whether they're inside or outside, they do not work for we the people. We the people are witnessing people within our country who are trying to tear down every institution that you have established, that we as a people have established as being sufficient and necessary in the establishment and maintaining of this system of government. And they are doing it not for the benefit of we the people, but for selfish reasons. These are people, my friends, who are even trying to hurt we the people by taking away health net that has been protect, set there to protect them, to take away benefits, benefits, ladies and gentlemen, that is there to protect them after having been robbed through this lifetime of a nation. And they're trying to tear that down, trying to tear down the justice system. For what reason? To benefit themselves. That's a domestic terrorist. And you know what's happening from outside. But ladies and gentlemen, what I'm trying to do is not just to fix something. I want to change the perception about things, about how things can be. I want us to be a nation that strives toward peace and prosperity and joy for everybody. I don't want to see senators working hard, striving to get a bill through with no support on the other side, trying to get it done in the lick of the night while telling you it's all for your benefit, knowing darn well that it's not for your benefit. And after we pull the con and made the decision and taken the vote, then we come about smiling. These politicians who represent these different nations, where pe these different states where people are really suffering, going through all kinds of changes, and they have just taken some action to make things worse for you and better for those who have been putting money up for them. Ladies and gentlemen, God has a plan for them, and that's to take money out of the game. Let me say it again, take money out of the game. Once again, I would like to serve you, but Minnesota has to step up. Minnesota knows they got a lady who, according to the traditional way, could serve Minnesota well. Or, if the people of Minnesota decided to choose a Republican, I'm sure that they would choose a Republican according to the way things are done who could serve Minnesota well. But would Minnesota be any different? No, well means that you can keep on hanging on. That's not my role. My role is not to just change the way you think, the way you perceive. Not to just change Minnesota but to change every state in this union and to have America looking like something beautiful. Nobody's condemning America because America is a lover. She has learned the fight and she's ready to kick any butt of anybody that would challenge her in that way. But until that happens, she's gonna love them to life. That's what I wanna do, ladies and gentlemen. Do you stand with me? Or, until next time, bye-bye.